Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back. We're taking it from the top. There we go. So, as you guys know, this is a live stream. So, uh, be patient. Bear with me. This is going to be a little tricky. Um, basically, how it's going to work is we're going to unbox this puppy. And then we're going to switch to uh, gameplay. So, I'm going to have to hook this up to the capture card, but I've got everything set up where it's going to be real fast, real smooth, but as about as fast and smooth as I can be without the magic of editing. So, <laughs> with, uh, hey, next person that mentions the, re the unboxing, reboxing, and unboxing, you get put in the cooler, all right? I'm going to have none of that, and no talking about the PS5! Ah! Listen, I got a PS5 that might be delivered tomorrow, maybe. If it is, then we're gonna do this all again except with the PlayStation 5 instead of the Xbox Series X. But uh, yeah, let's do this. Fake voice, unbelievable. The first time that I use a full camera. Actually, it's an amazing system. I got a... Uh, 250 pounds, seven foot wrestler over there. He's dubbing me live. He's got a, I improv a little bit. So he's, la, 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 la. he's got to match whatever I do. Uh, you know, all right, well, whatever. <laughs> Volume is low. Are you serious? You better not be messing with me. Testing. Ryan, no more, all right? You sent a super chat so everybody could see that this is a reboxing unboxing. <laughs> I swear, you do it again, I'm gonna de-super chat your super chat. Thank you, though. All right, sounds good. Some people are saying very low. Jesus. All right, I'm gonna turn that up a little bit. There, that should be good, I guess. Ah. Okay, welcome. Uh, this is a live stream unboxing, so you guys have to bear with me a little bit. All right, I don't have the magic of editing. This is going to be live, but we're going to unbox this thing. I'm going to set it up, and I'm going to connect to the capture card, and we're going to play some games in 4K. Uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Forza Horizon 4, Gears 5, stuff like that. But this is all going to be live, no editing. Um, <laughs> be patient with me. Anyway, let's get started. This is, of course, the Xbox One X Series X. I have to stop myself every time I say uh, the name, but, uh, yeah. Oh. <sighs> that new electronic smell. Oh, that's beautiful. This is actually a really simple, uh... Wait a second, does that have the serial number? Wait. Two seconds. I'm streaming this in 4K because we're going to show off some of the next-gen gameplay, but I'm also streaming the camera in 4K, and I don't know exactly where the serial number is, but I'm not taking any chances. There she is. It's a really simple unboxing experience, but uh, it's actually pretty nice. It's very minimalistic, just like the Xbox. I remember the Xbox One Day One Edition. I still have the controller. That was that was insane. It was very oh man, it's upside down. It was very over the top. There she is, and that's it. That's literally the unboxing experience. I mean, 
you get this little instruction manual <laughs> that basically just tells you to download the app. I don't know if the app is absolutely necessary to set up your Xbox Series X, but uh, it's worth downloading it because you can actually, uh, if you have Instant On turned on your Xbox Series X, you can download games to your Xbox from your phone if you're at work or at the grocery store or something like that and have it ready by the time you get home. You also got the HDMI cable, power cable, and the new controller, which looks a lot like the old controller. I'm gonna go over there and zoom in in a second. I'm a one-man camera crew, all right? I don't have anybody behind that camera, so I'm gonna have to do it myself. There she is. Actually, you know what? The Xbox logo on the button is now almost all black gray instead of this silverish color. But aside from that, they're pretty similar. Let me go ahead and adjust the camera. It's a really minimalist design, but I'm actually a fan of it. It's like Microsoft decided to go the complete opposite direction that Sony went in. I'm not gonna lie, this is absolutely very finicky. There we are. So this is the latest generation of Xbox One controller and this is Star Killer Base. This is the Xbox One controller, but it's got a little share button in the middle, and it's got a different D-pad. I don't know if I like this D-pad, honestly. It's not as it's not as good for games like Tetris, but it's great for radial menus in games like Assassin's Creed or uh, uh, Gears of War. Works really well for that. It's a beautiful controller, really minimalistic, but possibly the best feature about it let me go ahead and readjust the dog and pony show here. Through the magic of live editing, we're back. Well, almost. Give it a second, there we go. Uh, the coolest thing about this is the rechargeable battery pack from the Xbox One still works in the Xbox Series S and Series X. Just pop it in and it's exactly the same. It's exactly the same because they still support batteries in this thing, which is kind of weird. Even Nintendo has moved on to built-in rechargeables, but I actually kind of like, it's wasteful, but I kind of like having the option to pop in a fresh pair of batteries if I'm not patient enough to charge this or to play with it plugged in. Obviously you can set it on its side. Unfortunately, you cannot turn the button, which is a major bummer. But the coolest thing about this is what I'm about to show you. Let me go ahead and wheel the TV over. If you noticed, I'm using Velcro cable ties because I already unboxed this. I opened it up. I put it back in the box exactly as it came so I could show you guys the unboxing experience. But I already unboxed it. I installed a bunch of games to it. I played around with it a little bit. And uh, this thing is actually really cool. It's not as flashy as the PlayStation 5 in any way. Uh, even the UI is exactly the same as the Xbox One, but I feel like the Series X and the Series S, I feel like they're gonna sneak up on people. These are gonna be really popular consoles. This is a very power user friendly console, and that definitely seems to be Microsoft's focus. Microsoft and Sony are seemingly taking completely different strategies than what they had last generation. The power gap between the two consoles is a lot closer than it was with the PS4 and Xbox One, even with the Pro models. Uh, the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X are actually pretty similar. I'm gonna switch to the capture card in a second. I just want 
you guys to see how quickly this thing turns on. Now this uh, has been off, obviously, and unplugged for a while. So, give me a second here. I'm gonna go ahead and power it on and show off how quick this thing is. Oh, Jesus. Oh, good God. Hey, look. It's the, it's the bazooka. <laughs> bazooka the mini fridge. That could be a, it could be a splat fest. I'm sure Microsoft would rather have it be the bazooka and Sony would rather have it be the fridge. have to stand behind him. There's not enough room for me. Actually, you know what? Let me go ahead and move the Xbox back up. This is a super cool console. I really can't wait for the PlayStation 5. I can't wait to see how it, uh, how it compares. The PS5, my PS5, should be coming tomorrow. And if it is, I'll be doing a live stream unboxing like we're doing here. I'm sure it'll be very smooth. Very smooth. Very quick, too. You know, I don't know why people edit videos. This works just as well. All right, check this out. So, we're currently set to the right HDMI input. And I'm gonna power this on after having it off for a couple hours. Check this out. Boom, boom, right there. Man, that's fast. I actually, this is the coolest thing. Well, that's actually not true. This, the coolest thing is uh, the quick resume, which is really awesome. I heard that it was supposed to be able to uh, function even if the console was unplugged, and I haven't been able to get that to work myself, but quick resume is active. It doesn't work with all games right now. Huh. What? For this game, you need to be online. What kind of bullshit is this? It was gonna do the... Sorry, Dougie. It was gonna do the quick resume, and then this stupid DRM stopped it. <laughs> what the f... Oh my god. How do I turn the stupid Wi-Fi on without you guys seeing all my shit? Man! I'm gonna try it again. I'm gonna... You just... Please. Please! It's not gonna let me start it at all. Quick resume disappeared. Damn it! Uh, I had another game open, but I don't remember what it was. I think it was Tetris Effect. Let's see if we can... It's called Tetris Effect Connected, so I don't think that this is gonna work. Alright, well, through the magic of 2020 DRM, unfortunately, we weren't able to see if uh, Quick Resume works after unplugging it, but I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to the capture card and we're gonna play some games in 4k 60 fps and maybe i hope i didn't mess it up just now but maybe the quick resume is still like in suspension and we'll be able to bring the game back but yeah this is a really cool console and you know what i really like the design of this thing uh it's actually before we switch over to the capture card let's go ahead and compare it to the series I mean, the Xbox One X. I really think that this naming scheme is a bad, bad call. Not as bad as the Wii U, maybe, but it's not great. Even I get it mixed up. So, it's just a little bigger in volume than the Xbox One X, which is super cool. It's almost exactly the same height, and the power of this thing is incredible. It's quieter. Um... I think that this shape is a whole lot better, too, than the PlayStation 5. I don't take one side or the other. I think that's stupid, silly, but no offense. Um, this is just going to fit in my uh, home entertainment AV rack a whole lot easier. The PlayStation 5 is longer. It's wider. It's just, it's just bigger. 
I would rather have something a little bit taller and have it be uh, uh, shorter and um, yeah, shorter width and height. But it's very cool. I just wish I could turn this like on the old school PS3. Unfortunately, you can't. But I'm I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to the capture card. It'll be about two minutes. Everything should be very smooth, and uh, we're streaming at a great, great bit rate, big bit rate, and should look fantastic. So give me, give me two minutes. Be right back. Yeah, hey, what's going on? Yeah, you guys called me about this yesterday. Look, um, I don't have to tell you. It's, a, it's the same situation as yesterday, man. Yeah, I'm streaming right now. I don't know, I just started maybe 20 minutes ago. No, it's this, listen, um, it's the same deal as before, all right? Yeah. No, yeah, same as before. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play some uh, Series X games, and once I'm playing those, I'll start bashing the PS5, bitching about a little bit, talking about how it looks like a router, something like that. Yeah, yeah. All right, cool. So you guys still got the check on the way? All right, sweet. All right. Thanks, Microsoft. Yeah, talk to you then. That was loud. Good God. Well, welcome back. It's working. It's working. Oh, thank you. Fantastic.
I can't believe it's working. Okay. Actually, you know what? Hold up. If you'll indulge me, uh, let me edit something real quick. Oh my god. Well, that made everything blurry. Two seconds. Okay, that's better. Ugh. This thing defocuses if I don't adjust it every single time. I gotta adjust the lighting. I gotta adjust low light compensation. I hate webcams. Webcams are like printers. Oh my god, it blew up! It's huge! Oh no, you're seeing all the cables in the mess. Oh god. Oh, my dirty air vents. <laughs> that sounds like... That would sound very dirty if it was coming from a robot. What the hell would dirty air vents be on a robot anyway? Oh yeah, you guys are seeing the boom arm too. Alright, good enough. Let's do this. Where the hell's the controller? Wait, is the microphone? Okay, microphone's back on and it's really loud. I'm gonna go ahead and lower that a little bit. Testing audio. Testing, 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 testing. That should be good. Well, that should be better. Let me know if the volume's too loud. I don't want to blast you guys' eardrums out. I already did that once. All right. So what games do you guys want to see? We got Gears of War 5, we got Forza Horizon 4. We got, uh, let me just pull up the game library. This is what we have. I mainly downloaded Xbox uh, Series X and Series S compatible games. Yeah. Yeah, nobody's laughing now. You guys thought it was silly that I unboxed my Xbox and then boxed it back up so I could unbox it for you, but that allowed me to not only unbox it, but have all these games pre-installed because here's a tip. If you guys are getting an Xbox Series X or S, um, any optimized 4x or s games cannot be transferred this is important all right if you're going to try to network transfer or transfer from your hard drive to your series s or x it won't work if it's got that xs symbol you're going to have to re-download the whole thing so if you're if you just got your console and you're trying to transfer these games it's going to be a big waste of time seriously i transferred uh this 70 gigabyte game and then it told me after i transferred it I would have to re-download the entire game plus an extra 10 gigabytes. So you don't just download the extra 10 gigabytes. You have to download the whole thing again. So do yourself a favor and just... <laughs> um, I got to plug in the Ethernet cable. Just download it, all right? Don't do any transfers. It doesn't work. So we're going to test the quick resume. I'm really curious about this. Uh, I have... Turned the console off and unplugged it multiple times since I originally ran Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Oh man, a lot of people are saying Forza. All right, I tell you what, <laughs> this one guy said he wants to see me play Insects. Uh, we're gonna play all of them. No, I'm just kidding. We're gonna play uh, Forza Horizons 4, Gears 5, and Valhalla, and maybe another one, but those three definitely because they're really cool. Um, Hopefully my HDR is not on. Oh god, it is. Give me a sec, I gotta turn that off. I mean, the HDR looks fantastic, but you can't live stream HDR. You just can't do that. I tell you what, though. I've gotten to play with just about every aspect of the Series X. And, wow, is 120 hertz awesome. I've already got a 144 hertz monitor, but... It looks really, really good on the Xbox. I was actually shocked at how uh, normally... So, if you guys are just getting your console, I would suggest if you have an HDR 4K television, setting it at 10-bit for normal HDR, 12-bit for 4K, just have these to auto-detect or recommended. And video modes, check all of these if you can handle it. <laughs> but I have a TV that can run 1080p 120 FPS. I don't have a TV that can run 4K 120 FPS, all right? 
That is a thing. The X900H, by the way, uh, don't zone out during the loading screens. Watch them. See how, see how quick or how slow it looks to you if you have an Xbox One X or One S. I think, I think it's pretty damn quick. I'm actually loving the fast loading screens. And Valhalla isn't even all that optimized. Hold on, it didn't turn the didn't turn the HDR off, I don't think. Let me check. Did did it turn the HDR off or is it still on? I think it's still on. Real quick. Sorry. But I wanna check this. Before we continue, all right, 4K, yeah, yeah. I'll uncheck that just in case the capture card can't handle it. All right, that should be good. Let's do this. Well, let me make sure I'm in stereo. Good, good Xbox. This right here. All right, I swear we're getting into Assassin's Creed Valhalla right now. But this looks exactly the same as the Xbox One. It's the same UI, unlike the PS5, which is improved, apparently. But I'm really excited to see what it's like on the PS5, because honestly, I think that this is way better on the Xbox. The options that you have. You cannot force the PlayStation 4 to stereo, all right? If it detects that your uh, receiver or whatever can handle more channels, it's just automatically going to give you that, and you can't tell it otherwise, which sucks. Um... Especially if you're a power user, it seems like Xbox is kind of more friendly to your kind. I'm hoping that PlayStation 5 is more power user friendly than the PS4 was. It's ironic because the PlayStation 3 was just, it was incredible. You could use that as a computer if you wanted to. Literally, you could install Linux onto the PlayStation 3 and use it as a computer. The PS3 was incredible. Uh, it had... Uh, SD card readers, it had so many inputs, it was amazing, and it was really expensive. I think now, adjusted for inflation, the original launch PS3 was $800, I think? I can't remember. Oh, this looks incredible. Oh, look at that. Mm, my boy. And look at that loading screen, man. Oh, that's fantastic. That's fantastic. Well, welcome to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. This is native 4K, 60 FPS. And if if you can, I would run this stream at 4K, 60 FPS. I'm streaming at a high bit rate. I've got everything optimized. This should look as close to what it looks like in real life as possible. As in, uh, as close to if you were playing it as possible. But it is a live stream, so I can only do so much. But man, this looks nice. I'm not exactly sure all the enhancements outside of uh, the frame rate, but God it, damn, it's good. They must have done more. It doesn't have RTX as far as I can tell. They haven't said anything officially. They're just letting people think what they want. But we're going to go ahead and roll over to uh, a quest or a mission or something. All right, they're planning to dethrone the American king. Well, not exactly American, but uh, it's kind of familiar to us in 2020. <laughs> Can I fast travel here? Oh, I didn't take the time to... Oh, my God. What a fool. Okay, well, let's go, let's grab our longboat. Let's get the hell over there. Uh, we're going to hop over to Forza and Gears of War 5 in a little bit. And we'll use the quick resume feature, which isn't working for all games, but it's working for a lot of them. It works for Assassin's Creed Valhalla, I know that. I don't know if it works for Forza. Uh, Microsoft is currently uh, working on fixing some of the games that it's not completely in sync with right now. Where did my boat go? Where the hell am I? Alright, there's a dock over there, so you'd think that's where it'd be. This water looks incredible, look at that. Look at the lighting system, man! Oh, uh, you know what, I'm just gonna start walking. Let's... if we find something cool, cool. Is there a river between... Yeah, we'll reach a river in no time. 
Hold up. Yeah, no, it should be looking beautiful. We're running at uh, uh, between 14 and 20,000 bitrate. So it should be looking nice. Yeah, I'm triple checking everything. It looks, uh, looks good. I'll bump up the bitrate a little more, but... Yeah, got everything set to max quality. Keep in mind, for, uh, 4K 60fps is not easy for YouTube servers. <laughs> God, I'm drowning myself. Yeah. Yeah, everything looks great. Yep, CBR. We got everything locked in. Should be good. Um, I'm taking a look at the video link myself. See how it looks. Yeah! No, that looks... It's a live stream, guys. Unfortunately, it's not going to look as good as... Uh, a video, yeah, that's that's perfect. That's perfect. All right. I just passed the river. Damn it. I do read the chat. Fast travel loading. All right, we'll check that out soon. Uh, loading into the game, I don't know if it's the same speed as fast travel loading, but that's actually a good question. First, we're gonna just uh, do a mission real quick. Then we'll check out the uh, fast travel loading. I still haven't been able to figure out where it takes my boat. I don't see it on my compass either. And it's not on the map. Where does it take my boat? Oh my god, it's over there. All right, well, we'll fast travel to it. Let's see what the loading screen's like for fast traveling. I should have timed the loading into the game. Wow, that's fast. That's actually super fast. I got the game installed on the internal hard drive, which is an NVMe hard drive. Oh man, this looks good. That's Damn. Kind of song. Look at the colors. This isn't an HDR, this is SDR. Obviously, it's a live stream, but in HDR, this game looks absolutely incredible. Also, I'm not sure if this game has Dolby Atmos, but I've got uh, four speakers in the ceiling. I've got uh, three speakers in front of me, two to the sides, and two at the back. So I've got 11.4.2, because i got two subwoofers. Ba i got a home theater setup, is what I'm trying to say, and the sound is incredible the playstation 4 didn't have dolby atmos but the xbox one x and series x have dolby atmos and the series x has dtsx which is uh basically surround sound that also surrounds your head and man is it cool it, it's really cool i got i got giddy this game's sound design is Absolutely Bring superb. You can Come. use uh, Dolby Atmos with your headphones as well. A lot of headphones do a really good job simulating it. But uh, PlayStation 5 is not going to have Dolby Atmos. It's going to have something different, which I'm really excited about because competition is always a good thing. And uh, DTSX doesn't seem to have been much of competition against Dolby Atmos. So we'll see what PlayStation 5 does. Also, I've heard the PS5 headset, the Pulse headset, is incredible, so uh, I'm looking forward to trying that as well. Oh, man! Yo, I wasn't even driving. <laughs> My crew was driving. Wait, can I raid his boat? Or is there a settlement nearby? Wait, that settlement? My god, there's like five guys there. <laughs> it's like double that. Let me see if that was what we could raid. A monastery. That doesn't seem right. Let's do it. Are you kidding me? Yo, we're actually raiding the monastery. What a dick move. Damn, this looks sweet. The thing about 60 FPS is, um, 
You can appreciate 4K so much more. Look at this. What? All right, this is the first time I've actually been in a real fight. 60 FPS. Oh. I cannot overstate how awesome this is at 60 FPS. It's so much better than 30 FPS. Are you kidding me? You guys are seeing frame drops? You guys should be seeing no frame drops. None. None. <laughs> uh. All right. There, how's that? What the hell? Turn down game audio. You got it, Buster. All right. Let's see how that is. seen it too give me two seconds i'm gonna keep fighting while i try to i i streamed this uh privately before i started the stream uh publicly and it was completely fine wait it's fine now oh you know what i think i got this i'm gonna play and fix it at the same time so at least you guys can see something interesting yo that's how easy mode this game is I'm using one hand and my leg. Alright, boom. Check this out. This should do it. <laughs> well, I'm using one hand and my leg, but uh, I'm not exactly getting a lot of kills. I'm swinging in my axe at air mostly. Still, we got all of them. All right, that's uh, looking almost normal. Who the hell already broke the? What? Yo, well, that's not fair. That guy just—he's got teleportation powers. All I can do is slide. <laughs> I can slide to the enemies. That's it. I can't teleport. Nice. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Is this fixed? What the hell? That actually made it worse. That is very strange. Mm. Don't like that. Oh crap, I'm about to die. I'm gonna take care of these guys real quick. parts about the raids is the absolute destruction unfortunately it's mostly just fire I'd like some well we don't have trebuchets or catapults but if we could reduce some of the buildings to rubble that's all I'm saying just the, just a couple just turn them to a, a pile of smoldering ashes that's what I want to see we're done. Let's get back to the ship. All right, it's almost, well, not quite. I'm working on it. Look at the texture in that stonework. 
I believe aside from the FPS, uh, they improved uh, texture resolution as well. Uh, it was running at, I think, native 4K on the Xbox One X. So... The Xbox One X could handle uh, this game at 30 FPS native 4K, but I'm assuming they've bumped up some of the things like maybe the shadow maps, uh, maybe the texturing, because this just looks too much better for it to just be the frame rate. Although the frame rate does make a huge difference. Uh, yeah, this actually is really impressive, especially when you consider that this console is like 500 bucks and my 2080 Ti was a lot more than 500 bucks. Damn, this looks sweet. Oh. If you sat most people down in front of an Xbox Series X game and a PC game running at max settings on a 2080 Ti, a lot of people, maybe not you guys, keep in mind, we're, we're power users. Uh, we're very finicky about this stuff, but Average Joes, and even a lot of gamers too, they probably wouldn't uh, be able to tell the difference between Forza Horizon 4 on PC or Forza Horizon 4 on the Xbox Series X. We're getting to that point with these next-gen consoles for now. I don't know what it's going to be like five years from now, but right now these things are very, very impressive. Cutting edge of optimization right here. Those ruins are gorgeous. Oh my goodness, look at that. That is beautiful. The cool thing about uh, these consoles is 4K is really cool, but what makes the 4K shine is having this at 60 FPS. You know what, let's check that out. Let's see what's up there. I think this is one of those mystery areas, or maybe it's an artifact area. No, it's a wealth area. All right, people are actually, people are actually living here apparently. What's this symbol mean? I don't know, it kind of looks like Crusaders, but I'm gonna go ahead and synchronize here and then we'll go off to a mission. But, uh, we're also gonna be playing Forza Horizon 4 and Gears 5. We're gonna try all the major Series X enhanced next-gen experiences, but we're gonna play Assassin's Creed Valhalla for, I don't know, maybe an hour or so, because this is kind of the launch title of the Xbox Series X. PlayStation 5. Whoa! Oh, shit. Okay, he's power 90. We might... Oh, I'm not going to be able to take this guy on. Not with... Not with that amount of help. But I'm level 20 right now. So I don't really stand too much of a threat. Oh, no way. This guy's a major bullet sponge. All right, so I know what that symbol means now. The Black Knight. The doctor beckons Raven King. What the hell is that? What the fuck? He's got... He's got a giant mine? Yeah, well, unfortunately... There are some bullet sponges. <laughs> well, sword sponges. Whatever. But at least we have a really quick loading screen. That kinda softens the blow. Isn't that how all gamers do it? They get a really cool rig? Makes them feel better about losing? <laughs> uh, that might have been a little too real. Alright, we'll st we're still a ways away from the main mission, so I'll just go back on boat. Yeah, I actually saw the video of the Xbox Series X smoking on Reddit, but... I don't think that's very common at all. I don't think it's going to be a, a red ring of death issue. I've only seen that one video. Maybe there's news articles with more people having problems than that, but... Set the mast up! Yeah. I haven't seen many people having issues. I don't think there's gonna be a major issue with either the PS5 or the Xbox One X. I mean Series X. They gotta they gotta do something about that name. It would be less confusing if they changed it now than if they kept the Series X. It makes it sound like it's just another iteration of the Xbox One. I get it, they're trying to do like a, a Samsung Galaxy type of a thing or an iPhone type of a thing. Smartphone naming systems, but... 
I don't know if that's going to work out in the long run, personally. It's a shame, though, because these are fantastic consoles. However, maybe I'm underestimating consumers, and that's not going to be an issue, but... Hopefully there's no red ring of death or yellow light of death. That was the PS3's problem back at launch, and a yellow light of death. As opposed to the red ring of death, which just sounds way... It's, it's way snappier, way zippier. You haven't heard of the yellow light of death, but everybody's heard of the red ring of death. It's got meme potential. I don't know if smoking... <laughs> I don't know if smoking has meme potential, but whatever's got meme potential, that's what's going to stick. Oh man, that would absolutely suck though if, uh, like the PS5 did launch with something that was meme worthy, but also scary for consumers. Uh, I don't know when, if, if you received a faulty PS5, I don't know when you'd be able to get a new one. Did you not see that fence right there? We got a water fence! You're not gonna be able to ram through that. That's that's made to ram boats that ram it. All right, I gotta raise this somehow. It's ironic because I didn't run into this uh, the last time I came out this way. I must have accidentally chosen the correct route, but the computers chose the wrong route, which is really weird. Okay, you know what? I'm actually seeing a tiny bit, not always, but a tiny bit of uh, frame rate drop. Not here. Not here. This is beautiful right here. Okay, this may be the best looking Assassin's Creed. I mean, it should be, it's the latest, but this looks really good. Incredible world. <laughs> that is truly beautiful. I, was, I wish I was looking at this with HDR. The trees are incredible, but so is that building. The detail is just immense. I wish that I had the opportunity to test. This isn't at 4K 120. They don't even have an option for a 1080p 120 FPS on Assassin's Creed. You got a 120 FPS option for Gears of War multiplayer and 120 FPS option for Forza, and it's really cool. It's... I can't even describe how cool it is playing on a television, like, 65-inch size display at 120 FPS. It's mind-blowing. But, uh, 60 FPS is huge for a game like this, even, because, uh, you just... so much detail is preserved when you're moving, as opposed to at 30 FPS where you lose so much detail in motion. Everybody says that uh, they hated The Hobbit at 40, 48 FPS, whatever that was, and Gemini Man at 60 FPS. But I just think that's what we're used to, man. Of course you're not going to like something that's brand new and we've had like 100 years of 24 FPS. But... 24 FPS, oh my god, you lose so much detail. It's... It sucks. <laughs> it sucks. I'd love to... See, uh, James Cameron, it's rumored that he's filming the uh, uh, action scenes of Avatar at, like, 120 FPS, and the dialogue scenes at, like, 24 FPS to make people happy. I think that could work. Anyway, the only thing that I've noticed about Assassin's Creed Valhalla on the Series X is... Um, uh, the dis the draw distance isn't that great. I mean, I'm just nitpicking here. If I was playing this, I wouldn't be inspecting the horizon, trying to find problems with it. But, uh, overall, this is fantastic. Like, that building in the distance, the longhouse, the detail between that building and me, which is a decent... That's a decent distance. It's not as far as those mountains over there, but it's a decent distance, and that looks incredible. Oh, you know what? I forgot to synchronize. Where is the synchronized point here? Oh, my bad. It's all the way at the top of the mountain! Damn. Well, 
I'm just gonna go over to the lake and call my ship. Actually, you know what? We're gonna cut through, uh, and go to the main mission. It'd be faster than taking our ship, surprisingly. I think there might be a hay bale down here. Sweet. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The fact that this console is 500 bucks and it looks basically as good. I mean, if you're pixel peeping, uh, you're gonna see something that's not as good. Um, something, some area that this falls short compared to a thousand dollar computer or a twelve hundred dollar computer. But I got a 2080 Ti overclocked, really good CPU, 32 gigabytes of RAM. I got a, a real beefy machine. And when I'm playing on a 65 inch TV, I compared, uh, Gears 5. I don't have Valhalla on PC, but I compared Gears 5 and Forza Horizon 4. And it's not necessarily indiscernible, but the difference is so negligible that, I mean, if you got money to burn, if you got money to burn, if you got time to tinker, uh, go ahead and get a PC. Like, it, PC gaming is, it's great, it's fun. Uh, personally, I have a lot of problems with Windows and drivers. HDR on Windows, doesn't matter who you are, it's a mess, unfortunately. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and meditate. Let's check out a different time of day. HDR on Windows is an absolute mess. Um, high frame rates on Windows can be a mess. It depends on your monitor or television. But this is just... It just works! That's why I like console gaming. <laughs> it has its problems, but it just works. Especially with HDR, this is a godsend. Like, HDR on my PC. I have multiple PCs, multiple desktops, all around the same power level. And, uh, HDR doesn't work reliably on any of them. Do I have a horse? Oh, God, I've got a horse. My bad. For some reason, I, I thought I had to buy one. Because, uh, um, Ivor said to Sigmund, Yo, if you give me a horse, I can come with you. I already had one! Look, it's Viking Red Dead. Red, uh, Red Dead. This just sounds like Count Chocula. <laughs> Damn, this looks sweet. Anyway, um, yeah. The big perks of this console is that it costs less than a 3080 Ti. I mean a 3080. Uh, and that's just the graphics card. Oh my god, look at this. Woo. Now that is, that is beautiful. This game it wasn't designed around the Series X or PS5 either, which is something to remember. Uh, the Last of Us 2 visually looks better than a lot of PC games, and that came out at the end of the PlayStation 4's life. So, what are we going to be seeing, like, a year from now? Two years from now? I wish that Cyberpunk was only coming out on the next-gen consoles. I know that's really selfish of me to say, but... I wish that it was designed from the ground up for next-gen. And I think it might suffer a little bit because it wasn't, but, uh, 500 bucks, man! The HDR works better than PC, and you can suspend multiple games at once, which is super cool. In fact, let's do that right now, real quick. I'm gonna stay right where I am. I haven't even saved, which might be a mistake. We'll find out. And we're gonna go to... I'm trying to remember which one it works with. Does it work with Forza? I know it works with Killer Instinct, so I'm just gonna check out Killer Instinct. Look, quick resume! Oh, damn! This is, um... Yes! Yes! That's fantastic! Quick resume works even if you unplug the console. Now check this out, I'm inside of Killer Instinct. Actually, you know what, let's go inside of a fight. Oh, this is dope. Watch this. The loading screens are super fast. 
There we go, we're already in. It's a fighting game, but still, they're really fast. And I'm gonna go ahead and switch to Valhalla in the middle of that... Actually, it's still playing the cutscene. Let's go to the fight. Alright, check this out. Quick resume. Upper right-hand corner. There we are. Exactly where we left it. And now I'm gonna go back to Killer Instinct. Quick resume, baby. And... Right there! Right there! It paused it for us, but we're exactly where we left it. So I'm gonna go ahead and... I'm gonna turn off the console. I'm gonna do something really ballsy. We're gonna turn it off. I'm gonna unplug it. I'm gonna show you guys. No trickery. I don't know why I would be tricking you. I don't work for Sony. Alright, it's still turning it off. It's off. Look at this. Boom. Here it is. It's unplugged. I'm gonna plug it back in. We're gonna quick resume. Okay. Check this out. Here's how fast it turns on from being uh, unplugged and off. Well, that goes without saying. But the fact that this works after having unplugged the console is just the coolest thing. I don't know if it would work. Look at that. Look how fast that was. I don't know if it would work if you had a power outage. Quick resume. Here we go. Oh, man. That is cool. I don't know if it would work if you had a power outage because um, I turn it off normally, but... <laughs> that is awesome. I can't wait for the post in a few years where people are saying, Yo, um, I had my Series X at my parents' house, and um, here it is. Five years later, it's been unplugged in the attic this whole time. I plugged it in. I'm right back where I left off drawing dicks in the snow in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. That's what, what I want to see. Damn, this game looks really good. 4K, 60 FPS, ladies and gentlemen. Um, yeah, I got AC Valhalla on PC, but I want to play it on console. Yeah, you can play it at 100 F FPS on PC, though. 120 FPS. You can't play this at 120 FPS on consoles, unfortunately. Uh, everybody's freaking about out about 4K, 120 FPS TVs. But the thing is, so few games support 4K 120 FPS that um, it's kind of a non-issue right now. But for racing games, fighting games, things like Tetris, indie games, it's incredible. And besides that, you can still play at 1080p 120 FPS, and that is the real game changer. 4K 120 FPS may not work all that well right now. Also, I still have V-Sync tearing on the Xbox, by the way. Although way less, I have way less tearing on the Xbox Happy Series X than I did the One X. But I think my mic is actually a little bit loud. I'm going to turn that down just a touch. Um, yeah, 120 FPS at 1080p is an absolute game changer for multiplayer games. Rainbow Six Siege plays at 120 FPS on the Xbox Series X at 1080p, I think. Maybe 1440p, but definitely at uh at 1080p gears 5 multiplayer multiplayer only i should add you can't play gears 5 uh single player at 120 hertz or any high hertz i don't know if they even have um like an uncapped variable refresh rate enabled for the campaign because i think it's just too graphically intensive right now but they may be able to like uh work that into a patch in the future which would be pretty sweet but the particle effects look way nicer as you can see actually the one at the bottom yes but the one at the top is oddly enough running at a lower frame rate than the one at the bottom which is kind of weird actually that's really weird i wonder if they'll fix that at some point oh my god hold on the suggested power for this area 
which is where the mission is, is 250. But this is the next mission? Are you telling me that the grind between missions is 240 levels? I mean, 230 levels? <laughs> wow. That's a lot better than Odyssey. I need a drum roll for some of these jokes. Quick resume or Demon Souls? Uh, Xbox Series X's launch title is Quick Resume. It doesn't have Demon Souls. It doesn't have Bug Snacks. Xbox Series X has Assassin's Creed Valhalla and Quick Resume. And damn it, you're going to get that and you're going to be happy with it. I can't believe that this is originally going to launch with uh, Halo Infinite. Yeah, PlayStation 5, I'm sure it's going to be able to do Quick Resume in the future. But not even PCs can do Quick Resume right now. That's... That is actually... Maybe the coolest fact about it. Because we have a feature that's super awesome and actually pretty useful. And it's a console exclusive. It's an Xbox Series X exclusive. That's super neat. I bet the uh, the load times for Warframe are at least cut in half. Sail southeast. Bring the men to the gates of Tamworth. We'll flood the fields. And Murgred shall weep at the sight of what the future holds for this kingdom. Alright, we're at the site of the mission. Um, I'm gonna check out one thing real quick. I'm gonna try... Can I save this here? Okay. Wait. There we go. I'm gonna try loading up Forza Horizon 4 and see if we can quick suspend this and play Forza and Assassin's Creed. Quick suspend isn't working for all the games right now. And I'm not sure, but I think Forza Horizon 4 is one of the games that it's not functional for. But you can play Forza Horizon 4 at 120 FPS 4K, which I haven't been able to do. I don't have... A television that can run 4K 120 FPS, but that's awesome. <laughs> that's really cool. It looks great at 1080p 120 FPS. 120 FPS makes 60 FPS look like 30 FPS. load times Hey, I'm hearing good things about you. Oh, sorry. My it's name's Jay. I might have something that'll interest you. There's a street race meetup and I think you should check it out. See you there. I gotta turn off. I gotta turn off the okay, music. So I gotta turn off the music. <laughs> oh man, I hope that the uh, main menu music wasn't copyright. Well, we're still live, so I guess it wasn't. Alright. Game audio back on. I have plotted your route to a nearby race event. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Oh boy. Hold on, we're getting some frame drops. Ah! That's weird. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Man, I 
No, wait. 400 yards. Turn left. Turn well, that's left. very frustrating. There you have it. The Xbox Series X is so powerful, computers can't take it. All right, let's let me see if this does it. Mm. Yeah, the frame drops are actually my computer or wait, what? All right, is it fixed now? No, it's not fixed. Ah! What the f what the hell? What's going on? Uh, let me try something real quick. Give me a second. All right, are we up? Because we're good now. We got this. If uh, you guys are seeing this anyway. Oh, good, yeah. Wait. Still shows the face cam. All right, if you guys can hear me, let me know. Uh, yeah, no, fa no face cam because um, I'm using a different streaming software. It looks like that was actually is is my. Is my voice loud enough? How loud is this? It, it looks quiet to me. I just got another volume. Testing. Volume. Because if the volume's good. Alright, sweet! We're back, baby! Oh, good, 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 good. Good! Alright, welcome back! <laughs> this is Forza Horizon 4, 4K, 60 FPS, and man, does it look good. Seriously, this is a game where the higher resolution and the higher frame rate makes such, such a big difference. The horizon, no pun intended, is just filled with such exquisite detail. This is one of the games that you can play at a high frame rate, like 120 FPS. I believe this is even 8K 120 FPS. Maybe not, but it's definitely 4K 120. It's also uh, 1080p 120. I don't have a 4K 120 television, but I have a 1080p 120 television. And man, this game rocks. It really does. At that high hertz. Uh, honestly, right. playing at 120 FPS makes 60 FPS. Yards. Turn left. Oh, wait, game's too loud. All right, thank you. You got it, you got it. Okay, let me know how this is in comparison. Let's see, let's see if this is better. I don't know if that's Turn too left. low. But, yeah, I'll keep the mixer open and you guys keep me Turn posted around. on the volume. I can change so. it real easy, so just let me know. <laughs> That's what I get for not watching where I'm driving. Uh, how do I change the time of day? I actually haven't played this game very much, and I've mostly played it on uh, and around when it's uh, safe other platforms, so. not Xbox. So we're at, we're at the yards. very beginning Turn right. of the game. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and raise my output Turn as right. well. Let's see if this works better. 
Okay. That should be good. No, there's uh, there's a 4K120. This isn't uh, 4K120. This is 4K60, but uh, you can play this game at 4K120. Game audio is the same. Okay, let's try this. Is this better? I can't believe game audio is the same. Okay, testing the audio now. Surely that's better, right? Okay. Alright, it's good now. Good, good, good. So the volume is perfect now, I just want to make oh, sure. It's you! You made it! I'm Jay, by the way. Alex wouldn't shut up about you, you know. If you drive half as well as he says you can, these guys will love you. Oh, before we start... You know what, I'll just check myself on my phone. ...strictly sanctioned by the festival. So don't mention this to Kira, alright? I gotta go. Work to do. See you around though, yeah? These might not be official, but you keep coming to these meets. I'll make sure everyone at Horizon knows you your ready? name. Ready? Looking forward to seeing what you Give can do. Give me a second. I'm, I'm watching my yet. live stream. <laughs> so the volume is perfect now. I just want to make sure it's you. you okay, great. Great. It, it sounds like it is perfect. All right. Sweet. Let's do this. It's unreal how good the reflections look, and this game doesn't have RTX, or does it have RTX? I don't believe it does. I can't find out if Assassin's Creed Valhalla or Watch Dogs Legion have RTX on Xbox. There's no official statements on those, as far as I can tell. Definitely not Valhalla. No official statement on that. People have been asking. But, wow, this is really a smooth 4K 60fps. I really wish I could check this out at 4K 120. Uh, that is supposed to be absolutely unreal. But there's no TV right now that can really handle 4K 120 perfectly. Uh, the CX does the best job. The X900H is cheaper than the LG CX. The LG CX is also an OLED. Oh god, I'm doing terrible. <laughs> the LG CX is an OLED. The X900H is an LCD. Both of them can do... 4K 120 hertz, and uh, they also both have uh, variable refresh rate, but the X900H is blurry at 4K 120 FPS, whereas the CX has uh, flickering problems. So there is no perfect TV for gaming right now. If you want 4K 120, I would wait maybe six months until next year's TVs come out, but my TV is from like 2017 or 2018, and it's got 1080p 120 FPS. It's an LG C7 OLED, and my god, damn it, I'm too busy looking at everything except the road. Cut me some slack, guys. I got 50% of the race over with. Let's see if we can underdog the, underdog the shit out of this. I'm gonna do my best. Anyway, um... I played this game at a 1080p 120 FPS, and man, it looks so incredible at that frame rate. I almost didn't mind that I wasn't playing at 4K. But at the same time, I don't understand how I ever played this game at the quality mode on the Xbox One X, because I played the demo of this game, and I thought it looked really good. Uh, but it was 30 FPS. And unfortunately, the performance mode uh, it didn't just lower resolution, it, it lowered some of the textures as well. Oh man, I'm doing awful at this race. I haven't played Forza Horizon very much, but... 
90% complete. Oh, God. Well, we'll do another race after this. And we'll also switch games. I just want to show this off at day, uh, uh, daytime. If we had autumn unlocked, that'd be even better. Check out those leaves. 4K60. This stream is in 4K60 FPS, and I've got uh, the bit rate is fluctuating between 15 and 20 Mbps. So you guys should be able to handle it, uh, even if you don't have super awesome internet. But I've got everything calibrated to look as good as possible. It's a little rough on my computer. <laughs> I'm not gonna not gonna lie. OBS couldn't handle it. I'm using another streaming software right now that doesn't work with face cam, but it's a lot lighter than OBS, and it's a lot snappier as well, so... Hey, just to let you know, there's another round one dirt race starting soon if you fancy it. See you there. Oh, and me and Jay have just finished setting up a new danger sign. You should check it out if you fancy some thrills along the way. Oh, God. Dirt racing. Well, I'm not very good at that, but let's give it a shot. Man, this guy, I can't get over the graphics of the Xbox Series X. I really can't get over the graphics. It's so good. It's too good. Man. I wish you guys could see this in HDR. I wish I could just, like, invite you all to my house and we could check it out on, in HDR because... You can't live stream HDR, and you need an HDR display to see it. So, <laughs> it's basically impossible for you to know what HDR looks like unless you've seen it. It's one of those things where when you see it, you can't unsee it, and then you have to, you have to have it. <laughs> but this is just, this is so beautiful. Here's the thing, uh, HDR doesn't really work on Windows. It sucks on Windows, actually. Turn left. It's actually really terrible. Um, so Turn I don't, uh, I don't really use HDR on my monitor. I use yards. HDR on Turn my right. television when I'm gaming on my PC. I hook it up to the television, right. and it's such a pain in the ass to get HDR working with Windows. They really need to fix that. It's weird because it's Microsoft, and they did such a great job on the Series X with HDR. Look at that! Wow! This was a good-looking game, but you couldn't really see it at 30 FPS. Because the blur would eliminate so much of this detail that you're seeing. That's the power of 120 FPS. You really see all of the pixels. It's, it's just like my opinion on hamburgers, you know? Hamburgers, the flatter they are, the more you taste the meat. There's nowhere Turn for the flavor right. to hide. Well, high hertz, there's nowhere for the yards. graphics to hide. Turn right. That's the dumbest way I could put it, but hey, it's it's applicable. Turn right. You can't live stream HDR because Twitch Turn and YouTube right. haven't focused on it because you have to have an HDR display to watch it, and most people only have HDR on their phone, and even then, not a lot of people do. But here's something to think about if you guys are considering getting a, a new gaming television. Uh, the best TV, period. It's expensive, but the best TV, period, in every facet currently is the LG CX, the 2020 LG OLED. Uh, with the 2020 OLED, there's really no worry about burn-in, so I wouldn't let that factor into your decision. But what I would consider is... Uh, HDR works with brightness. TVs need to get really bright for good HDR. And the LG CX can do that no sweat. If you're looking for the best graphics possible and the lowest input lag, go with the, uh, go with the CX. But LCDs, like the Sony X900H, can get much brighter than OLEDs. But, uh, uh, LCDs also have washed out blacks compared to OLEDs, so... Ah! Damn it! I was reading the chat room. I know, the reflections on the car are so damn good! You know what, I'm gonna go back a little further. Which one would you rather have, but you can't have both? 120 Hz or 4K? You're killing me! You're killing me, Smalls! 
I've actually been asking myself the same question because uh, I have to choose on my television. And you know what? With multiplayer, I'm going to go for 120 hertz. I'm going to go for 1080p 120 hertz when I play multiplayer games. But when I play single player games, definitely going for resolution. Because 60 FPS with single player games right now, uh, that's all you need. Because keep in mind, when you go higher hertz, you are sacrificing some visual fidelity. Uh, with multiplayer, that doesn't really matter all that much. And to be honest, I don't really notice it. I, I don't really notice it all that much if it's a fast-paced multiplayer game and I'm focusing on winning and killing. Like Gears 5, I'm going to show that off to you guys in a second. Gears 5 at 120 FPS looks so goddamn good at 1080p that I don't even notice it's 1080p. But here's the kicker, alright? Uh, you can't, as far as I can tell right now... Oh, shit. I looked at the chat room again. Uh, yeah, the rewind system's awesome. You can't have HDR if you're playing at 1080p, 120. You can't have HDR. But if you're playing at 4K, 120, you can have HDR. HDR doesn't seem to work at 1080p. I'm not sure why. Man, there's one lap to go. I gotta step it up. I gotta step it up. Man, there's an RTX option that you can choose, but uh, it lowers other settings graphically, so it's a sacrifice you have to make. And I don't think that they would just keep it enabled, I think they would give people the choice. Uh, Avani, what, uh, what graphics card do you have? Because I could, I think I could run this in 4K 60 no sweat. I don't believe you that you could run it at 4K 120 hertz, no sweat, unless you lower graphics options then. That's certainly possible. But it is true that a lot of racing games are easier than something like, I don't know, Metro. But the point is that this right. is like Good a $500 console. For the Horizon Autumn season. Bad news, obviously, is that it doesn't start until autumn. You don't mind sticking around, do you? Is this switching to autumn? Hey, I owe you big time for helping me out earlier. Meet me here. I want to repay your favor. All right, before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and switch to Assassin's Creed. And... Ah, oh, man. Forza doesn't work with quick resume. That is... that is a damn shame. Wait, it does! It just popped up! Oh my god! Xbox Series X come out of left field with a surprise quick resume. He thought it didn't have it, and it did. Forza Horizons 4, I'm sorry. You pulled through. Good job. Damn good job. Oh, man. The reflections in, in Valhalla also look incredible. I've seen people reflected. I've seen particle effects reflected. Uh, it almost feels like it could be RTX. Like, that's real... Obviously, it's water. There's not a lot of mirrors in the Viking era, but... Uh, that looks really accurate. I'm even seeing, I think, some of the slats between the boards. Could be the ripples of the water, I don't know. But... I, you know what? I, don't, I think it's just really good reflections. I don't think it's actually RTX. <laughs> it could be RTX on really low settings, maybe... I don't know. Anyway, let me got, let me know how the volume sounds for you guys. But welcome to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. This is basically the launch title for Xbox Series X. Oh, that's looking good. Ocean Soul. This is 4K 60, and that's the highest you can you can't run this higher than 60 FPS on the Xbox Series X right now. But damn, this looks good. Mm. That looks really good. We'll switch to Gears 5 and do some more forts after this, but I'm going to go ahead and do a mission real quick because this is uh, a really good looking game. <laughs> this really does feel like the launch title for Xbox. Because Xbox doesn't have any exclusives, but this is an open world, huge, good looking game. 
It's on PS5 too, but Series X came out first. Hey, is your X sharpened? I'm ready for the spear then. And the thunder of shields. Yes. It's good to have you with us. To fight beside such legends is an honor. I've only heard tales of your conquests. Now I get to live them. We'll weave our sagas together. Thread upon thread. Come on, boy. We'll forge a man from your softness. Hammered on the anvil of Anders war. need to fight to be Move! A... Move! Move! Calm, Ivar. The fight's not here. Aye. The fight is nowhere to be found in this boy. A boy who happens to be Chelwolf's son. Why is he not in his quarters? Our future king wants a battle-hardened heir. Time he proves his worth, don't you think? Can't be an heir if he's dead, Ivar. Can he wield a sword? I've had some training. I only... I don't want to kill anyone. These men are my friends. My country. Relax, little king. They won't call you friend now. You can thank your father for that. Ivar! He comes with us. And should anything happen to this little sprout, I will bear the punishment our future king inflicts. He'll want to remove your head. Haha, <laughs> you hear that, boy? You die, and I'll have to kill your father, too. I don't know why, but I don't know if I trust Ivar. Mountain. Look at that rain! <clears throat> Alright, enough talk. Let's fight. By the way, let me know if the game's too loud or if I'm too loud. These, this mixer that I'm using now in this new streaming software, real quick. The mixer in the new streaming software uses completely different volume levels from which I have no reference to. So I don't know what the hell these levels mean because I've never used it before. You smell that, Chelbert? The stink of jealousy of our budding friendship, I think. What is Jailwolf's son doing in Repton at all? It's Jailwolf's way of proving his loyalty. And there's no safe a place for a traitor and his son. In the middle of a pack of things. Safe from who? You and Ivar seem to have brought this Shire to hell. Tears are with us, common folk. Urgret still has his soul yeah. to hold of him. They're devoted to him. And they'll die defending him. I can't believe how smooth this is on horseback. Yo, what's up, Colin? I appreciate that, man. God of War 3 was awesome. I can't wait for uh, Ragnarok next year. What are the people like? You ever see a herd of sheep follow each other off the edge of a cliff? They're like that. The ones who remain, anyway. Couldn't have said it better myself. Damn, this looks incredible! My Xbox is not smoking yet, but I I saw that. I saw that video. It, I thought it was I thought it was VFX at first because that was a lot of smoke. Good god, that guy has cancer now. Oh my god, look at this. I'm gonna talk over the NPCs every now and then because I mean we're really here for the graphics and for the Series X. Oh! Damn! Anyway, really really good-looking game. Series X is playing this phenomenally well. Uh, yeah, my Xbox is actually working perfectly. But, I tell you what, if you guys remember what it was like unboxing a jewel case, or a, a, a game disc that was just printed, and it smells kinda like maple syrup, mmm, the Xbox Series X smells like maple syrup. Warm. Maple syrup. Oliver says, give me some advice for a breakup. Honestly. Uh, well, okay, go to Walmart. You, you, can, you can buy guns at Walmart, right? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, occupy yourself, man. Occupy yourself. Whatever that may be. I suggest food or meth. What the fuck? <gasps> what? Yo, the new flying longship is, uh... Prototype's looking good! <laughs> oh 
Oh my god, is that my crew? Oh, there's two crews. Oh my god. Oh! Is that for the mission? That's not even for the mission. What the hell are all these guys doing here? <laughs> Horse is scared of it. You should be. Oh, man. That's a... I've never seen that glitch before. Oh, man. Ocean Soul. This game... I, I played this game on an OLED earlier today, and you're right. It looks... It looks spectacular. It really does. Especially the HDR. But yeah, um, occupy yourself, man. I... It's a stereotype, or it's a cliche, I mean, but I recommend exercise, honestly. I can't tell you how much exercise does for your state of mind. We're just a sack of meat with a bunch of chemicals, you know? Look at this battlefield. Uh, when I talk over their voices... Is it too much to handle? Because, I mean, if you're watching this for the voices and the dialogue, then uh, you should just watch a, the Rad Brad or something. <laughs> but, yeah, I want to be able to talk over their voices without it being too distracting. Let me know. I can see that now. I am only six years his junior and have yet to see my first battle. Looks like there's some sort of a siege going on here. Look at these pagan rats. Ravenous, unseemly beasts teeming over holy ground. Have a care, Lord. These pagan rats are numbers. I can see that, fool. What do we do about them? I advise we strongly consider their demands, Lord. We won't survive a fight. Is that you, Leofred? How quickly you recover! I'm beginning to wonder if it is a man or a god beneath all that armor. A man of God stands before you, Eva. Proud and resolute. That's Burgred's war thing. Killed a dozen of our men in an ambush along the River Trent. It was Ivar's axe that stopped him. That is a poor description of a perfect 30-yard toss. Enough joying, heathens! Speak your peace! We've come for your crown, Lord. With or without your head attached. <laughs> I admire your ambition, Pagan. But what you ask is impossible. No Dane ever has or ever will occupy Mercia's sacred throne. Not to worry. We have a Mercian of our own. Shale wolf, you mean? Ha! <laughs> when I'm done with you lot, I'll execute that foolish thing for treason. My king, may I suggest a more measured approach to this? I grow weary of this palaver. You have trampled our lands, toppled our monuments. We've given you silver, fed your people. And yet in spite of all this, your encroachment on my kingdom continues. No more! We will die defending what is ours, whatsoever the cost! If you want my crown, Uber Ragnarsson, you must pry it from the hands of my bloodless corpse! Man the walls! Back to the camp! Round up the men! We're taking Tamworth tonight! Well, that didn't work out hey, so boy. well. Tell the captain we're ready to march. Ivar and I will round up the men. You know your way around the battle. It'll be you cool see seeing a big battle in 4K60. Where's the captain? I'll be there. Oh, I should have got on my horse. Where is my horse? Go. I was kind of nervous to call it because the last time I did. Uh, my longship eventually floated into the air. Good landing, though. Every other game has X as the mount-dismount button, but we've got B. I keep getting that 
<sighs> the controls are so strange to me. This is a good looking camp. Looks like we're gonna have a battle, boys. <laughs> uh, to answer your question, man, my PS5 is supposed to arrive tomorrow. If it does, expect an unboxing slash... Uh, look at that one really tall tree in the distance. That's a nice, realistic detail. Anyway, if my PS5 arrives tomorrow, expect a live stream where we play games and unbox it and just have some fun. Who are you? Probably around the time at which this stream started, I would have that stream. It's time to roll out the battering ram. Better get one to the fight. Now we'll give him one. Are you ready to march now? Let's go. It's time to capture a kingdom. What are we going to do about him? Jailbird. Something wrong. I know these men, Edward. I've sucked with them. Not two weeks ago, Leofred showed me how to wield a greatsword. He's a friend. Friendships end, often at the point of a spear. It cannot be that cold. Least of all with Leofred. He is only following orders. When the march begins, find an empty tent and stay there. Do not think me a coward. I am not afraid of war. I do not want to kill my friends. There's no other way. Fight or hide. It's up to you. This is actually a pretty rough situation. Okay. We got our go first go. siege. Check this out. This is actually a really fun gameplay mechanic. We got to command this battering ram. Actually, I don't know if I have to command it yet. But yeah, yeah, there we go. It works a lot better if you're the one commanding this thing. Damn! Be careful, you can lose men. Don't be impatient. You gotta raise shields and brace for arrows when they come. It's better to just wait. There we go. Oh, crap, I thought it was over. <laughs> you can get reinforcements eventually. Uh, almost got this thing. I know, the lighting is so damn good. This ain't even HDR. You know what? We're gonna go for a supercharge. Come on! Pump those light muscles! Treat this brace, I mean, ram like his leg day. Wait, is that an enemy? Oh, crap! Obviously, you can't stay on the battering ram the whole time. It kind of looks like I killed my guy. Jesus, just curb stomp the shit out of him. all my arrows. The frame rate is so good. So solid. You know what? You should probably save your arrows for the archers. Oh my god! That hammer's really got some power. Him. 
it's kind of funny seeing some of the people being like, uh, Xbox or PlayStation 5 is better, when this is... This is gonna run identically. Valhalla, I mean. It's gonna run identically. The consoles are so close in terms of power, it's not really about their power anymore, it's about the companies. Xbox definitely seems to be working on some of, uh, some type of a, a Netflix model with Game Pass. PlayStation's trying to introduce it, but who knows if it's going to be as good of a value as Game Pass on Xbox. Still, I welcome the competition. See, that's something, that's... Uh, another reason why I kind of am... I was mainly playing on PC for years, but I'm migrating over to consoles with this next generation because I just... I can't... I can't deal with uh, Windows anymore. I can't deal with drivers, patches, poor optimization. Games just don't get the same love on PC as they do on consoles. And I'm sick of it. I'm also sick of Windows breaking everything. HDR just doesn't work on Windows. Or at least, it doesn't work well enough. That's for damn sure. I can't tell you how many blue screens of death I've gotten on uh, Windows with HDR, even across different desktops. It doesn't matter, it's Windows. It's not my computer. Which is too bad, but, I mean, this looks so close my 2080 Ti overclocked PC that I may as well just play on the console. Honestly, I'm a bit of a tinkerer, and that's kind of what I liked about PC gaming. I liked fooling around with uh, the settings more than playing games sometimes. And I'm gonna try to move past that. <laughs> I'm gonna try to go back to focusing on games instead of tinkering. I can tinker with my television calibration instead of my overclocking or trying to get HDR to work. Nice! Good timing! I kind of just took credit for that ram. I came in just at the right moment. When you got a strong enemy like this, it's best to go for the weak points. Unfortunately, legs are really hard to hit. Especially with aim assist off. God damn, get out of the way, guys! One of the friendly NPCs just walked up to him and killed him like he was nothing. Meanwhile, I'm taking 30 seconds to try to get a good arrow shot. How's the volume, guys? Oh, Jesus. There's so much going on in this battle, I want to make sure that my voice isn't getting drowned out or hard to hear. But, on another note, there's so much happening in this battle, and yet the 4K 60 F FPS is super solid. No, I'm not streaming straight from Xbox, but I am streaming with something other than OBS. Um, unfortunately... What'd that guy do? He was coming down from the ladder. Unfortunately, OBS, uh, wasn't working. Wasn't working half as well as this, uh, streaming software, I'm not sure why. There was something wrong with either my capture card or my PCIe slot, but... That's working fine now. Now I have problems with OBS. I swear, if it's not one thing, it's another. Nice beheading! Alright, sweet. Volume's good. Honestly, I'm not really sure what to think about Xbox buying Bethesda. <laughs> it's, it's... The words coming out of my mouth just sound absolutely ridiculous. Um, it's hard to believe, for one thing, but I can't say one way or the other whether it's good or bad. I mean, it sucks for PlayStation players. I doubt they're coming to PlayStation. Maybe after a year or two years, maybe. It depends on what whatever Microsoft thinks will make them the most money in the long run. They may just want to focus on uh, building up Xbox, even if that means taking a hit on game sales. I mean, a lot of people are going to buy an Xbox to play Elder Scrolls. A lot of people. So, it may just be better to have an exclusive... 
As far as what I think about it personally, I don't think it's too cool because I don't think that it's going to make Bethesda games better necessarily. They have more money at their disposal now, sure, but uh, didn't they before? <laughs> yes, they did. I can't hit those legs. Oh, beautiful. But yeah, the thing is, uh, the only reason that Bethesda uh, being bought by Microsoft would be good is if... Ah, the blood looks so cool at 60 FPS. The only way that would be good is if they had more resources to make better games. But they had plenty of resources, and here's the thing. Oh, man! 343 had tons of resources to make uh, the Halo games, and you know what? They're not better than Bungie's. Microsoft now owns Gears of War, and they own Halo, and are the games better? Not really. So... All I hope is that they make a new engine. <laughs> I can't take playing on the same engine. I believe Starfield and the next Elder Scrolls are gonna have a new engine, but if it's just like a heavily modified version of their current engine, I'm gonna be pissed. Especially because PlayStation players died for this. And you're telling me, you're telling me, Microsoft bought these guys and now PS, PS5 players can't play these games and we have the same damn engine that we did 20 years ago? Get real. I'm still super excited though. Anyway, welcome guys. If you're just joining up, please don't be a stranger. Talk in the chat room. I like talking to the chat room. Uh, I promise to talk more often. I read the chat room all the time, but... I'm gonna talk more often. We're gonna, we're gonna get to know each other. But yeah, by the way, tomorrow, if my PS5 comes, PS5 stream. Oh, let me tell you, it was hell trying to order a PS5. It was hell trying to order an Xbox uh, Series X. But the PS5 was a whole nother level. Xbox was a little easier. The 3080, though, I mean, that's the real tough stuff. PS5 was easy mode compared to the 3080. I guess scalpers figure that PC gamers are the biggest suckers. Because, <laughs> damn, the 3080 is literally impossible. I've been watching. I, I uh, was there, like, 30 minutes before the pre-orders went live, getting ready. Didn't make a difference. And I've been watching it. Like, I've been getting updates, and I've been going to the to the product pages, like, 10 seconds, literally, after I get the update. And it's not fast enough. Take care, TGK. I appreciate you joining us, man. Assault complete! Ha <laughs> ha! That was actually kind of easy. Not easy enough for me to raise the difficulty. <laughs> Yo, Michael C. said that Xbox just tweeted, Please it's don't blow weapon. vape into your Xbox there Series you X. Alright, little bit of conspiracy time. That sounds like they're... Okay, this is gonna sound insane, but it almost sounds to me like the social media team was like, Let's casually try to pin the blame on other people while also making a joke of it, so people don't care as much? I don't know. I don't know. It's it's a funny joke, but at the same time, they're a company, and I don't know if a company should be making light of uh, what could potentially be a major screw-up, you know? Like, this guy, who knows how long it's gonna take him to get a replacement, and they're cracking a joke about it. I mean, it's just a video game console, but they're also a major company? I don't know. I'm not a big fan of this new trend of companies being, like, hip and cool and sassy on social media. <laughs> I don't like it. I like them working for us, because we pay them, you know? <laughs> Take three men and search the rear. Look around. See what you can find. I'll send for Chael Wolf. Tell him we found a throne. Ah, that was 
a good job. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I did notice it was short one after me. Damn, this is a good looking game. Jailbird was around. Maybe Look at this. Look at this. Woo! Oh. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Look at those trees. My god, the trees. All right, what are we supposed to do? Search the keep for hints. I haven't been paying attention to the game because I've just been distracted by the Xbox. Wait, was that tweet a fake tweet? The vape tweet? I wouldn't be surprised. Xbox, uh, lately has been really on top of their social media. So a lot of people, most people are huge fans of the Xbox social media right now, but I don't know. I'm a little cynical about it, like Xbox tweeting to people saying, Hey, listen, all your friends are buying PS5s? Buy a PS5. We just want you to gain. We just want you to be happy, you know? You don't have to buy an Xbox. Don't worry about it, bro. Just buy the PlayStation. We're cool. I don't buy it. I, I don't buy it. I don't buy it. I'm too cynical to... I'm too cynical to appreciate it. Get out of that throne, man! Look at him. Looks like Ivan the Terrible. Alright, we gotta... I, I, I guess what they mean by the keep is... Uh... What do they mean by the keep? Something down here. Oh, I think that's... I think that's me. That's the player. Yeah, no, it is some... Oh, right. We gotta use Viking Vision. My bad. symbol Tona Sigil It seems she's been dealing with Burgred as well the wretch Oh wait wait a second um the video is fake the smoke video it was, it was someone blowing vape into their Xbox I'm watching it come out about me about reptile I did think it was really thick and I guess vape clouds can be really thick. All right, all right. In that case, I have absolutely no issue with Xbox being sassy. That is not how it works. Not in Mercia. We have Tamworth. Burkrit's on the run. You're the king in all but name. It won't matter. So long as Burkrit is free, the people will call him king. He must abdicate his crown to me. Tana is our only lead. We talk to her. Find out what she knows. I would sooner launch my face into my axe than face her. That might improve her impression of you. We have the same father, Eivor. But his mother was a sow. Meet us at Tana's camp when you're finished here. And bring your patience. And your axe! Eivor. A word, if you would. Go, I'll catch up. I will join the brothers, Eivor. Meet us at Tonus. My son told me what happened earlier, with Ivar pressuring him to fight. He said you intervened. You would be mourning your son if I hadn't. <laughs> He's not a fighter. No, but he should be. By trial or by training. He'll come around in time. Keep him from Ivar if you can. He's the furthest thing from a mentor. This right here, this this would look so good in HDR. 
especially on an LCD, that doorway would be as bright. Well, not quite, but I mean, it would feel like daylight outside that door. That's what's so cool about HDR. In fact, the closer you can get to the brightness of daylight, which I mean, we aren't there, obviously, but the closer you can get, the better it's gonna look, the more realistic it's gonna look. Uh, with HDR, the brighter a TV can get, the better, truly. We have not even come close to reaching a point where TVs are too bright for HDR. Uh, let's go ahead and quick resume to another game. Let's go back to Forza for a little bit. Yeah, it's a, it's a bold guess, Colin, but I'm thinking this Ivar guy. I don't know. Maybe it's this Scar. Maybe it's him verbally abusing and physically abusing people, but I don't think he's such a good guy. Actually, they could pull a sneaky on us and instead... Oh, Forza doesn't quick resume. That's a shame. But, it loads really fast. And also, it doesn't break other games quick resume. Which is... That's, that's, pretty, that's pretty cool. We'll still be able to quick resume back to Assassin's Creed Valhalla, hey, even though the quick resume I didn't work here. Time for helping me out earlier. Meet me here. I want to repay your favor. Around when it is safe to yeah, so. I can't believe that that was such a dick Turn move shopping. to make that uh, ex smoking Xbox video. It went viral, and uh, I don't know how many people thought that it was real. I did, I didn't know it was fake. I trust people, damn it! But that sucks, that really sucks. Honestly, that might have dealt a little, a small bit of damage to Xbox. Like the day after the console comes out and someone posts that shit. And countless people believe it, including myself. Damn, man. That's kind of a dick move. Let's see if that move works out for PlayStation. Ballsy. It's a bold move, Cotton. Wait. The HDR is nice, but I do like but I like to do the HDR cancel glitch where it's half HDR. Why would you want to have half HDR? <laughs> That's weird. That's really weird, man. I've actually never heard of that. Turn left. Wait, what is this? Are we buying a house? Or a garage? At your destination. You're not going to believe this. The film producers bought this house to use as a set. But when filming wrapped, they just left it. I had a word, and you know what? They said you could have the house for free as a thank you for your work on the movie. Oh my god. <laughs> That's weird. So I guess now we have a garage for more cars? Is that the point of this house? Man, that storyline is less believable than here. porn. Ooh, Series X t-shirt! So the more you get yourself out there, the more clothes you get in return. Speaking of which, I see you've already made a name for yourself before coming to Horizon UK. So I ordered in some exclusive threads as a thank you. I'm sorry, but these characters in this game talk too much. <laughs> they talk too much! Honestly, um, I really don't like the character models in Forza Horizon. I think she looks great. She, she looks great. But most of the character models, they just look whack. Really yeah, whack. Dancing. Wait, do you they have the... a move to show off before a race and bust an even bigger move for when you win. Trust me, it'll be great. Even when I'm not streaming, I still don't listen to what the characters are saying in this game. Oh, I thought I saw the T-Rex suit. All right, that would have been weird. All these are really weird, actually. Hey, is that is that here because of Valhalla? Probably not. I was hoping I was gonna say thank you for buying the Series X. We gave you a T-shirt for it. I thought it said it gave us more cars. Oh, that looks good. Wow, that looks good. 
Look at the detail on this thing. Oh my goodness. Wait, let's look at the reflections. Okay, the reflections are not RTX. But they look amazing. They might add RTX to this game. Can I zoom in? Bonus points to whoever gets the reference on my license plate. Oh, that looks sweet. <laughs> I, I like the explode, implode instructions. That's fun. How do I, uh... Oh, forget it. Let's just drive. made it to the autumn season. You are this close to qualifying for the next round of the Dirt Racing Series. You should come back to Tarnhouse, it's completely different in autumn. You know, I didn't really want to go back to more dirt racing. Wait, do we have another house? Oh. I guess they're... <laughs> they give you, uh, uh, abilities. Alright, well, I guess we have to do the hey, dirt sausage. racing. We've added some more stations. Hey, we've got a truck now. If you're Maybe that'll be a little space, better. Oh, and it's autumn. And if you're Check it out. Much calmer, time we got shiny rain and slick classes. roads. And it looks good. Yards. Really Turn good. Left. It is too bad. Uh, <laughs> I didn't know you had Humvees in this game. It is too bad the bad name that people have given trucks. I swear to God, every bad driver in my area has a truck. And it's a shame, because these are good-looking vehicles. Man, truck drivers in this area are real assholes, too. God. I tell you what, uh, truck, tr uh, truck owners and uh, Dodge Challenger owners. Dodge Charger, Dodge Challenger, Ford Mustang, Chevy Camaro. BMW. Basically, anybody that spends a decent a chunk of change on a car decides to be a, a fucking dick. Damn. Um, also, I can't tell you how many uh, uh, Mustangs uh, have tried to merge into me. Look before you merge, man. Blind spots. Blind spots, guys. Please. Please. I'm trying to live here. Oh, that's a good angle. Oh shit! Sorry. <laughs> the irony. How are you doing? This is London Electricity, just back from saying farewell to summer. Oh. That's a good a question. Why is it the game's cutscenes aren't stage. always 60 FPS? Um, and, um I think Chris? usually to save oh, space. Ooh, they're, they're all like if it's not in game and if it's pre-rendered, I think it's to save space. Uh, also, I think it's cheaper if it's pre-rendered. Right now, right here, while you were doing that, some of us were still here doing our jobs, actually. We'll be taking also, I just want to the turn this guy off and radio. With more drum and bass anthems, Horizon. I want to I want to turn the radio off. Spot on your map that you haven't visited yet. Plotting a route there for you now. Turn around. Yeah, I wasn't trying to dog the cars. The cars are fine. It's the it's the people that choose them, or seem to choose them often. Oh my god, no one uses turn signals in the US. Nobody! Nobody! So, I should probably let you know that the mud will be real slippy out there because of all that rain we've been getting recently. Same course, totally different drive. This... This looks... This looks unbelievable. Hold up, real quick, I just want to make sure, uh, I've got the music turned off. Oh, come on! Are you kidding me? It keeps resetting that. Ah, uh, how annoying. How do I go to photo mode? Oh, there we go.
Wow. Woo. I don't know what they did to this game, but this looks so damn good. Look at this. Uh, so this is the Series X version. It's literally a different version than the Xbox One X. You have to uh, re-download the entire game. So I wonder what's been changed exactly. It doesn't just feel like it's the frame rate. I feel like there's more here than just an, an improved frame rate, but good job. Damn good job. That's absolutely incredible. Oh, that's what I meant. Uh, the pre-rendered videos. Uh, so a lot of cutscenes are 30 FPS, even in 60 FPS games. And I think to save money, or also space, uh, they put it at 30 FPS. Because 60 takes uh, higher bit rates and uh, more file size. And also, also, it's just more expensive. Man, <laughs> I'm driving like a jerk. Let's focus. How do I go to first? Oh, there we go. This is so much more fun at 60 FPS. Honestly, it's kind of ridiculous. I don't know who played at 30 FPS, the quality mode that we used to have. Um, I played the demo in the quality mode because it, it looked so good. I really wanted the graphics, but it felt so painful to play at such a low frame rate. Racing games and low frame rates just do not mix. I mean, technically no games mix with, with low frame rates, but still, it's worse in some games. Especially multiplayer. You never see uh, multiplayer games at 30 FPS, except I think Destiny. Was that 30 FPS? I don't know. But Destiny 2 is uh, enhanced for the new consoles as well. I thought about trying that, but I tried Gears instead. Game's getting big. You gotta watch your file sizes. But yeah, it looks like my PlayStation 5 is going to be delivered tomorrow. I just got a, a, a text about it. So, Darks, I mean Demon Souls. We're going to be streaming it. I might stream Bug Snacks, I might not. I'm, I tell you what, though, I'm going to be playing the hell out of Bug Snacks. I don't know if people want to see it, but I'm going to play it. But, uh, yeah, we're going to be streaming some PS5 games tomorrow. I don't know when, because. Uh, unfortunately, it's a home delivery, so I don't know when they're going to deliver the uh, console. And I got to download the game. <laughs> yeah, I played a quality mode too. I would keep switching between them. Oh shit! I was looking at the chat. Oh god, oh god, oh god. I haven't played this game very much, so I'm not really too familiar with the driving model. It's amazing, it's like this game just came out. It's like all the games just came out that I haven't played yet, or played very much. Because now I'm gonna be playing them all the time! And that's what's so cool about uh, Game Pass and, and uh, whatever the PlayStation version is equivalent is because uh, so many people are going to be playing these games like they just released thanks to the new consoles and uh, these Netflix-style game memberships. I kind of like uh, the really zoomed out version. It's a good look. So much detail. I can't believe I won from how much I sucked. I know it's just normal difficulty, but... I didn't drive like it's normal difficulty. I drove like it was very easy difficulty. Which is to say that... The only way I got first place if I, if I was playing easy mode. Normal mode, what happened to you? Drive! 
I'm actually shocked that we did that well. I mean, I, that we drove that poorly and did that well. Driving that poorly. Welcome to the Horizon Autumn season. My team are helping me find our most influential rookie to compete in the next showcase. Want it to be you? Convince me. Beck tells me you're in round two of the road racing series. And Joel mentioned that someone named Mike's... Let's switch games. I'm gonna see if we can quick resume from Forza to Assassin's Creed. Because we can't quick resume back to Forza, but it doesn't look like Forza breaks other quick resumes for other games. Although this is taking a little bit longer than I usually say it, see it take. So, yeah. Uh, I don't see a quick resume yet, and I'm going to say it's not going to come. It's not going to work. Let's see it. Let's see it. I hope I feel like a jerk for doubting it. Nope. Nope. Forza Horizon 4 doesn't work with quick, quick resume right now. Uh, but it doesn't break it for other games, which is cool. Let's play some Gears. I'm not sure why Quick Resume doesn't work. It's probably some really technical um, reason that I'm not aware of. But they're working on it. Some games, they disabled it because it was a little glitchy. And uh, I guess Forts is one of those. I don't know if Gears is. Hmm, that's a good point. Forza is a uh, always online game. Yeah, that's that's a good point. I guess it wouldn't work with games like Destiny either. Well, Destiny is a little more obvious, I guess. But I forgot about Forza's. Um... Can you play Forza offline at all? Because it'd be cool if they automatically. I guess that would be a little more uh, intensive. You'd probably have to go through menus for that, but it'd be cool if they could somehow automatically switch you to offline mode. But that is a good point. Does Xbox Series X have problems with overheating? Because, I mean, the fan, uh, the air coming out of the fan is hot, but when I feel the console, it's it doesn't feel hot to me. I've never played online before, so I've never played any Gears game online. I've played the campaigns, but I've never played multiplayer, ever. Let's go embarrass ourselves. I'm gonna play as a, I'm gonna play as a Halo. <laughs> Halo's a pretty cool guy. He shoots aliens and uh, doesn't do nothing wrong. Wait, oh. For some reason, I thought I was still Kate, and I thought uh, it was saying I was playing on PC. So, this multiplayer that we're playing can be played at 120 FPS. You can't play the campaign at 120 FPS, but I'm playing at 60 right now, so we're using 60 FPS graphics, which are better than 120 hertz graphics, but uh, I can't stream it at 120. Let me assure you, though, it looks incredible. It really does. What's up, XP Rocket? Welcome to the stream. Take care, AxDDE. I don't think I'm pronouncing your name correctly. Can you pronounce that? I'm gonna try it. Axden. Axd. I apologize. This looks like it's going to be a pretty cool looking map. in the chat room real quick. Uh. 
Every once in a while, I just I like to uh, see if I can uh, catch up on it. All right. Yeah, I've never played uh, multiplayer Gears, so I hope that I don't piss anybody off. This looks good, 4K60. But I tell you, the uh, 120 is what's really impressive about it. Additionally, the campaign has, I think, better graphics than multiplayer? Maybe not. What are we supposed to do here? Practice makes perfect. Hey, you could have killed me! Oh, that guy's the most on the wrong, apparently. Kinda looks like he's frozen. Whoa. Hey, do you already have uh Spider-Man on PS4? Nailed that one! Honestly, it would have been so cool of Sony if uh, Miles Morales was included for people that already bought the season pass for Spider-Man because it's a it's a big expansion. But uh, you know what? Maybe when I play it, I'm gonna completely change my mind, and it's gonna be worth it. Securing the tab. Hey, help me secure the tab. You know, it'd be a nice addition to the Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5? Display ports. Because running at a high hertz, multiplayer games like this, it's excellent. Truly excellent. But, a lot of high hertz gaming monitors only have display port. Like, I got this amazing Where's gaming you? monitor, but it's a real pain in my butt because it's, it only has a display port. And just one. Which is really annoying. Really annoying. I can't I can't even begin to describe how annoying it is. I'm literally gonna buy another monitor. Not because I want another one. This one's fine. But I'm gonna buy another one because I, I just can't stand having only one port. Especially for streaming. For streaming it really sucks, because I have to use another monitor entirely. That's actually kind of crazy because I thought that the swing, uh, swing mechanics in Spider-Man were excellent. Hold on, I'm just trying to avoid the aliens while I edit something. There we go. What's this? Oh god. Mega Gamer says it was reported that a lot of smoke and rarely even fire comes out of the console from overheating. I've heard that that was uh, someone blowing vape into their console as a joke and then it came out of it. Uh, it was pushed out by the fans because they blew it under the intake. I don't know what's to believe, but I did think that the smoke looked really thick. I've actually had my computer's power supply blow up before, like literally explode. Uh, that's why I have so much brain damage. That stuff is really toxic. Anyway, it didn't look like that. I, I, obviously, there's different types of smoke in the electronics, but it didn't look like that. My water heater also exploded. And uh, I didn't really see... The smoke is more thin and wispy. Uh, so I don't know. I don't know. It could be real. It could be fake. It seems like it's fake. But it would suck if uh, any of the consoles, PS5, Xbox X, digital editions, had any major problems. Because it's going to take... It's going to take a while for people to get replacements. Oh my god. Did I get the most kills? That won't be the last of them. Let's get ready. This is Gears 5. We're playing some multiplayer. Oh man, I just realized the triggers have this nice texture to them. The triggers on the Xbox One controller. The new Xbox One controller. Wait, how do I vote to start?
<laughs> Leo Bravo, congrats, you man. I'm jealous. I got the C7 and it looks incredible, Stop but I can't imagine what the 4K 120 Hertz looks like. Nice. No, the water heater did explode in the house. I actually, um, I, something was weird with the power, and I think it's because the water heater was, uh, the guy that installed it wired it wrong. Uh, it was like that for a couple months, I think. And then I, I, I went into the laundry room, and I, uh, uh, the air felt, I can't explain how weird it felt. And, um, there was a strange noise coming from the watering, uh, I mean, the wiring of the water heater. And, well, I got the fuck out of there. <laughs> uh, I heard this loud, loud bang. And the wiring of the water heater just exploded. There was fine particulate everywhere. Uh, there were scorch marks and burn marks all over the walls and the water oh, heater. Wow. Surprisingly, the water heater still works. But it was the strangest feeling in the air. And it was the strangest smell. I'll never forget it. Mm -hmm. Well done! Days early, and I stream it. Are you saying that uh, Microsoft like bricked or like blocked some of those people's consoles? Because if that happened, that's a that's a dick move. They didn't sign any contracts about embargoes like uh, streamers or press. I, you know what, I don't even know if I could agree with it if it was just, uh, if they just blocked it until the day of release. I don't know if I could agree with any of that. They got it early, it's not their fault, why are you punishing them? They paid for it. It's not like this console has any launch titles like, uh, PS5. PS5, uh, you stream Miles Morales, you're streaming something that people haven't ever seen before. Something that can only be seen on PlayStation. You're streaming Valhalla. Shit, man, I played, uh, Valhalla on the Series X, I mean, the One X. Days before the Series X release, what's there to see? It's not even a Microsoft game. It's weird that Microsoft would, uh, be enforcing embargoes about that. Satisfying. Wait, uh, if it was people under NDA, I agree. But if it was just a normal guy that got his console early, then he's not under NDA. Like, like, it delivered early by mistake. Like, uh, Walmart accidentally sent it out early, you know, or Amazon or something. He didn't sign anything. Now, if it's press breaking NDA, sure. That makes sense. But, as far as I can tell, you, like, you don't sign NDAs like that just buying a console from a, a retailer. Okay, okay, they only did it to people that signed NDAs. Alright, cool. I was a little unclear on that part. Series S or X? Personally... Damn, that looks awesome. Uh, and this is just me, the Series S is an incredible value, and I would recommend it, uh, depending on your situation, over the Series X, but 
honestly, I don't know if I can recommend a Series S or a PlayStation Digital Edition to anyone ever because it's extremely anti-consumer. Hear me out. Uh, these companies, the most valuable thing to them right now is not necessarily selling consoles. I mean, it is, but the real money is locking you into their storefront. Why do you think Microsoft is doing Game Pass? It's a great deal, but you don't own the games, and you have to be subscribed, etc., etc. Uh, same with Gold, same with, uh, PlayStation Plus. It's just about locking you into, uh, a certain thing. Their thing, come. specifically. So, I say, screw digital consoles. It's anti-consumer, it's a bad deal. You're saving a little bit of money now to save less money in the long run. Think about it. Your only choice for buying games uh, in the future is going to be the Microsoft Store with the Series X. That's it. That's it. It's a if you have a, a disc console, you can buy a, a, a game that goes on sale from GameStop, EB Games, eBay, uh, Amazon, Best Buy, Newegg. Uh, there's so many options. So many options. Best, uh, I mean, uh, Costco. You know, but if you buy the digital console, you're locked into the storefront and. Uh, the prices might be better right now, uh, like, but the thing is, once once Sony and Microsoft have a lot of people on digital, and once disc sales are starting to decline, uh, they can raise the uh, the prices. You know, they can have more sales. Nice work. Right now, they're competing with uh, Walmart and other brick-and-mortar retailers. But once once they win and discs are buying again. Then uh, they have a monopoly, and they can they can give you bad bad sales of it. It's kind of like Nintendo. You know how Nintendo games are really expensive. Well, you can't get Nintendo nowhere else. You don't got a choice. And that's kind of what Sony and Microsoft want to do. I think it's kind of cheap. I don't like it, but people are gonna buy them, and it's it's gonna happen whether people buy them or not. Because obviously people will, and eventually, it's just, it's just like uh, streaming movies. You know? It's going to become the norm eventually. So I don't know. I don't like it. I think it's bad for us as gamers. I mean, I streaming movies. I, I uh, it's better than games. That's seconds, for damn go. sure. Because uh, digital games, I mean. A movie, it's two, three hours. Games, 60, 70 hours. You can come back years later and spend another 60 hours in them if you want to. If it's like The Witcher 3, play it on launch, play it five years later. Um, it's worth having ownership over games, if you ask me. Oh, does the game sound a little loud? Let me lower that. I don't know if that's too low now. Sorry about that. Alright, I lowered it a little more too. Oh, Jesus. I wasn't paying attention to the game. sizes anymore. I'm pretty sure you have to download uh, just as much as if you, uh, if you buy the disc, I think you have to download just as much as if you bought it digitally. But uh, the main thing is ownership. You can sell a game, you can uh, pass it on to your friend if you want to, easily. 
Uh, disc is usually cheaper. If it's usually cheaper now, when digital has competition, and digital is still more expensive than disc, then what's it going to be like when uh, disc is dead? The way I do digital is something like Game Pass. But if it's a game that I'm really excited about, I'm going to buy it. Or if it's a game I'm unsure about and it's not on Game Pass, uh, I'm going to buy it. I'm not going to uh, buy a game I'm, I'm unsure about digitally. If I don't like it, I can sell it with a minor loss or I can give it to a friend. Uh, Sony and uh, Microsoft aren't really great on returns for digital products because you can't do it very often and they can lock you down at any point. So you don't really know uh, what game is going to be the last game that you can return for the year or more. They could even flag your account. Congratulations, man. You got the DualShock 5. You don't have the PS5 yet, but you can use the DualShock 5 with other games. Oh, man, everybody's quitting. I'll quit, too. It's all AI, I didn't realize. Considering trying a versus. Let's give it a shot. We'll play against other recruits. Yeah, the gore does look amazing. Hey, Scott, that's... I appreciate it. You know, that's completely valid. A lot of people, uh, whether it's a phone or a headset, every speaker's different. Some speakers have different mid-tones, different uh, uh, levels for different sorts of noises, I guess. But... Or equalizer settings, I suppose. Um, anyway, I want to make sure that my voice is audible, no matter what speaker it is. So I appreciate you letting me know. I lowered it a little bit more. Captain Wait a second, we're playing against Hold AI? Oh, really? Discs are about half the size? The installs? Huh. Maybe it varies. Interesting. I feel like the aiming's a little different uh, in Versus than it was in Horde mode. Yeah, this is definitely against AI. That sucks. I don't know why. Maybe the player counts low. Oh, this is for recruits. This is for recruits, right. Maybe recruits, uh, you only play against AI? To prevent smurfing? Keep in mind, not all 4K TVs with 2. HDMI 2.1 support 4K 120fps. Uh, are we on 2.1 or 2.2? I can't remember. <laughs> Regardless, um, the only TVs that- oh shit. The only TVs that support 4K 120Hz right now aren't necessarily flawless at it. They all fall short in some aspect, in different ways. Uh, the CX, for instance, it's the best TV out there. It's the best TV you can buy. But even the CX is not perfect. 
For instance, uh, you've got flickering, and you've got some- oh crap. You got some rapid uh, dimming problems at 4K 120 Hz, but on the X900H, which is possibly the most popular 120 Hz uh, 4K TV, and it's cheaper, the problem on that is that 4K 120 Hz is blurry, which is a big problem, ah, damn, in my opinion. That's some pretty good gore. No, the Series X doesn't come with a rechargeable battery. That'd be pretty sweet if it did. I think the profit margin is already really slim. If there's a profit margin. So I can understand them not doing it. They do include batteries, which is nice. I guess. I mean, the PS5 includes a uh, rechargeable bat- I mean, rechargeable controller. But at the same time, uh, you don't have the option for batteries, so... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know which one's more worth it. Depends on the person. I actually really enjoy having the option to use batteries. I don't use it often, but... If you have friends over, and one of your controllers is dead and you didn't realize it. It's... it's great. It's a great option. Oh, Jesus Christ. They can shoot me around corners. My elbow must have been sticking out. It is true that, uh, it depends on what you're looking for. Uh, Smaller displays are generally better for competitive play. But there's nothing quite like a TV. The size is so immersive. It's so fun. Also, I don't think there's OLED monitors yet. We're not far from OLED monitors because... Uh, burn-in is progressively becoming less of an issue, like the 2020 OLEDs, uh, you don't really have to worry about burn-in at all, but OLED, man, it, it literally doesn't get better than that. If you're not worried about burn-in, which in 2020 you probably don't have to be, then, um, picture quality cannot get better than OLED. It's not possible. <laughs> it's simply not possible. Nothing is better. That being said, LCDs get much... Oh, shit. LCDs get much brighter. Yeah, oh my goodness. He's chainsawing my teammate. Give me just an... Oh my god. These AI are not bad. I love a lot better than I am. The Xbox Series S is more powerful than the One X in many respects. Maybe all respects. However, the One X is probably going to be pretty cheap. I mean, the Series X is, I mean, the Series S is already uh, a pretty fair deal. But, you don't get a disk drive. Now, if I had to choose between a 1X and a Series S just because of the disk drive, I might just get the S. Oh, jeez. Damn it! This is so fundamentally fundamentally different from most shooters. Uh -oh. oh god. Do glory kills give you hell? Teamwork, unity. A real gear lives by these values. And you No, the Series X doesn't come with a wire for the controller. Thanks. Only batteries. However, 
interestingly, uh, it's now USB-C, so... Even- I can't believe I'm second place. Even though this controller, uh, is compatible with the old rechargeable batteries, so if you have an Xbox One rechargeable battery, uh, you'll need a different cord, because this uses USB-C instead of mini-USB, which is way better, but you will need a new cord. You can buy one for, like, three or four bucks on Amazon, probably. I don't know, a lot of discs, uh, you have to install, uh, pretty much as, uh, much data. At least that's what I always read. Disc versus digital. I don't know, everybody's saying that, uh, discs, uh, install to the exact same amount. Ev everyone, literally everyone, uh, is saying that discs install to the same gigabyte-sized in gigabytes as it would be if you bought it digitally. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's old. Uh, I think with, maybe with the 360 and PS3 it was, it was, there was a difference. But maybe it's different with the PlayStation 5 because I think they're using 100 gigabyte discs. But maybe not, because maybe the disk isn't fast enough. It's certainly not as fast as an NVMe hard drive. What other games are new on Xbox? Let's see. Nothing. This is... This is a great game. If you haven't played Tetris Connect... I mean Tetris Effect... <laughs> play it. If you've got Game Pass, play it! It's awesome! Really. Play this. I'm surprised that Halo 5 Guardians isn't optimized for X and S. I'm surprised Killer Instinct isn't. That's kind of strange. There were some games that were surprising. I wasn't expecting them to be uh, enhanced, but they were. Regardless, Commander Keen! Great reference. I love that. Uh, unfortunately, I'm starving, and uh, I'm going to get something to eat. But... I'm going to be streaming again tomorrow, and hopefully my PS5 arrives. I don't know when I'm going to be streaming because I don't know when my PS5 is going to arrive. Hopefully earlier in the day, but uh, yeah, I will be streaming tomorrow. I'll keep you guys posted, and fingers crossed, let's see if we can play Demon Souls. I did hear that the Series X has faster loading times than the PlayStation 5, but that could be temporary. That could just be software related. Um, I think that Honestly, the PS5 and the Xbox Series X are going to be really close when it comes down to power and um, things relating to the hardware. Software, on the other hand, who knows? You <laughs> captured my Gears 5 uh, uh, victory screen? It was a practice match. Anyway, guys. <laughs> Thank you for joining for this live stream, and I'll see you again tomorrow. But until then, game massively.